G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live at Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. You're looking at one of my Hocking's Eyes hives. And I'm going to discuss here um, the dangers for poor males uh, in mating swarms when they roost. Now it's very early morning. So as you can see there, zero activity yet as the temperature warms up, but we're not looking at this hive. I'm looking at this hive here that's had a mating swarm out the front. And if I pan over to here, you will see some males. Hopefully I'll get it right. And over here, some males. But there's something more important about this. This last night was covered in male bees. Let's see if I zoom in and get it better. But you can hardly see any male bees left there now. And there's a good reason for that. If I can zoom in and get the angle of the dangle right. Where are we? See if you can see them. Yes, you can see them. Ants. And what's happened, ooh, as I walk around here, is these males have been decimated by the local ants who have basically had a feast all night long on these ant oh, I'm sorry, on these males. And so these are just the remaining few males that are left that were roosting here. And there's hardly any left on this twig here. And you can just see the ants all over it. And the males are just being decimated by these ants. And as you can see there, they're just finishing off the last of the males that were roosting there and couldn't defend themselves. So males don't get a good life even though they're kicked out of the hive, even though they're doomed to die by sitting outside after the mating swarm. Even the bloody ants don't give them a chance and bloody round up the buggers and eat them look at this they're just everywhere on this so there you go that's what happens to the poor males